Over the course of about 18 months, we converted 100% of our collection vehicles to compressed natural gas. We were very lucky, and even Clean Fuels Ohio helped us out. Jerry Hutton, uh, early on, helped me identify where we were gonna find fueling resources in the greater Columbus area for those times when we we're further away from our hub here in Canal. Well, two big factors that really go into it. One is the economic benefit, and the other piece is the environmental benefit. The, these natural gas vehicles, they produce about 25% less greenhouse gas emissions, and that's something that can make us really proud from the front line up. As we start to see gas exploration throughout the eastern and central United States, we're basically becoming self-sufficient on our fuel source, and that's also helped keeping the price at a very static level. And then the, the cost savings, you know, not just the fuel savings, you're looking at close to a 50% reduction in fuel locally, but more globally, waste management estimates that we're saving $30,000 per year per truck for each conversion from diesel to CNG. Well, coming from the diesel side of the industry and, and walking into the natural gas area, I find the natural gas to be, to be uh, uh, much better. Um, not only is it cleaner, um, diagnostics are easier, um, it, it's just a much better engine, in my opinion, uh, than our diesel counterparts in today's industry. It's a little, uh, it's an unknown area, a little scary uh, dealing with the pressures of the gas and, and the pressures running through the, through the engines. But once you get to working with them, you find that it's uh, very sim simplistic actually. Very, very good design, very, uh, very easy to understand. Um, and it, it, it's become just second nature to us. The CNG trucks uh, versus the diesel, you know, not only it's excellent for the environment, it's better for the driver too. You know, you take some pride driving these new trucks. The CNG trucks are, are gorgeous and they sound good and uh, the people just love it. And I, I certainly do enjoy driving them, so. CNG's coming and gasoline and diesel are gonna have to step down and let you know, clean burning fuel take over and that's the future.